This is going to be massive for Bitcoin. As we speak, the Bitcoin price is breaking out of this very key area of resistance. I know what you're thinking, bro, is this breakout legit or are we going to get a fake out? And if this is a legit breakout, what crazy targets is the Bitcoin price going to hit? We are going to be discussing just that in today's video. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications because we truly are bringing you the most timely and the juiciest Bitcoin updates here on YouTube. If we just objectively look at this chart, it does not take the president of the United States or the world's best farmer to see that clearly as we've been consolidating here for the past few weeks, the Bitcoin price has been consistently making higher highs and higher lows, which means we are currently still in an uptrend. And I want to give a huge shout out to the Casper Crew VIP Discord because we have been giving these long trade setups from these higher lows in advance over in the Discord. And currently right now, we are watching this current long idea play out. Obviously, we've locked in a good profit on that, but I still have the trade open looking for higher prices. Context is everything when we are coming up with a bias for these markets. And when we look at all the volume that Bitcoin has traded for the past two years, we can see something pretty interesting. The market had established Bitcoin to be fairly valued between the prices of $55,000 and about $30,000, meaning whenever we see Bitcoin come below that $30,000 level, the market considers it undervalued. Whenever we see Bitcoin come above that level, the market considers it overvalued, and we can expect a correction then to the downside. And the way fair value zones work is if price establishes a fair value zone, especially if we're dealing with years and years of time, and then it loses that fair value zone and then comes back inside the probabilities tell us that the price will come up to that highest volume node. If it can reclaim that level, it will actually come up to the high of the volume range. So right now, based on volume and based on this confirmed uptrend that has been confirmed, making higher highs since January 2023, the probabilities say that Bitcoin is going to see higher prices right now. That being said, we can see that Bitcoin is also coming to a major area of resistance. This is the log scale Fibonacci 618 golden pocket from the Bitcoin all time high to the low we put in last year, confluence with the highest volume node that Bitcoin traded throughout the entire bull market. In addition to this, when we go down to the four hour, we are seeing that as the price is getting higher into this very key area of resistance, Market Cypher B is showing the money flow leaving on the four hour time frame, as well as the momentum waves getting lower over time. This is known as the upside down Sam Bankman Freed bearish man boob pattern, whereas the price is getting higher over time, Sam Bankman Freed's man boobs are getting lower over time. And if we simply just superimpose his boobs onto the chart, we can see that the pattern literally lines up perfectly, showing that although things are still bullish, making higher highs and higher lows, we should be ready for a pullback quite soon. Now, let me just say this. I am not a Bitcoin bear. I hold a lot of Bitcoin on spot. I was one of the few people openly and aggressively buying Bitcoin below $20,000. You can go look at my YouTube videos from last year where I'm very bullish in January of 2023. But here's the thing. Even when we are in a very strong uptrend, not only are pullbacks inevitable, but they're also very healthy. And for the past year, we have seen a pattern play out where we get a big 50% move to the upside, followed by a 20% pullback, followed by a 50% move to the upside, followed by a 20% pullback. And we have just experienced another 50% move to the upside coming into a very, very key area of resistance. Now, the 20% pullbacks we've seen throughout the last year have also been at very key areas of resistance, right? The first major pullback we got was at this major support resistance flip from August 2022. The second major pullback that we got was from this very key weekly order block confluence with the value area low of the bull market range. And well, here we are again at the next major area of resistance, the golden pocket, the point of control of the range. And we're once again seeing the same upside down Sam Bankman Freed bearish man boot pattern here that we saw at those previous pullbacks. So the probabilities and the patterns are saying, you know what, if we're going to get a pullback, it's probably going to happen from right here. And in my opinion, this is an open door of amazing opportunity for potentially the best trade of the year. The reason I say this could be the opportunity for the best trade of the year is because I want you to notice something. During the past year of upward price action, whenever Bitcoin breaks out of a resistance like it did back here, it will come back down to retest that resistance as support before getting the next 50% move to the upside, 
where it comes back down to test the previous area of resistance as support before getting that 50% move to the upside. The pattern continues as we could potentially right now get a 20% pullback to test the previous area of resistance as support, which could then allow us to get into a trade from here where we can then target the top of the range, right? So this we're talking about potentially up to an 80% move to the upside here, right? We're talking maybe a $55,000 Bitcoin, 79% move to the upside. This could be an amazing, amazing long opportunity if we are given that pullback. And speaking of trading, if you do want to trade Bitcoin and altcoins and you know how to trade, I highly recommend you check out my exchange, Mexi. This is my go-to exchange because the fees are so dang low. You can literally scalp on the five second time frame and still be profitable because the fees are so dang low on this exchange. Link in the pinned comment and description if you're interested. And if you don't believe me about the five second time frame, then I recommend you check out this mini scalping course I just released at jasoncaspertrading.com. It's very, very cheap. But in this strategy, I outline how I was able to make basically $30,000 in a month trading only on the five second time frame, documenting all the trades I made right here and showing you exactly how I did it. Also, if you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, where we give the juicy trade setups in advance, we do live streams every single day, multiple times a day, a great community for learning. JasonCasperTrading.com, click the link to join the VIP Discord, link in the pinned comment and description if you are interested. So how do we trade this price action locally? Well, thankfully, we know that we are at a key area of resistance. And of course, there's always a chance that these bearish signs might just roll away and we continue to pump to the upside. So basically, because we know that this zone above us is a key area of resistance right around here, we can then say if the price gets a big push above here and then comes back down to the box, showing that what used to be resistance is now support, we could look for a long entry right here instead of looking for a long entry right here where we're literally longing into the key resistance level. Instead, we wanna wait until that resistance level has been flipped into support before looking for a long trade. And also, if we see that we get a little bit higher into that golden pocket area and we get our rejection from here and we're really starting to see these bearish divergences play out, well, then what we can do is we can either look for a short trade if you're into that, or we can wait for the pullback to play out which I say will give us an amazing long opportunity. Now, if we just take this rising wedge pattern and get our measured move, we can see it's basically coming back down to all of these lows, which is a very, very significant thing because as we know, during this entire section of consolidation, we have been accumulating stop losses underneath these lows, right? We've got people right now basically over leveraging their longs, feeling real good about it, but that could quickly turn into something like this because as we get a move to the downside, those stop losses get triggered. Those are sell orders in the order book, which will then cause a cascade of sell orders pushing the price down low until we sweep all those over leveraged longs out of the market. And what do you know if we sweep out all those leveraged longs from the market? That is giving us about our 20% move to the downside, the pullback that we have seen historically during this uptrend for the past year of price action. So as we are watching this price action play out and whatever happens, whether bullish or bearish, the one thing we must do as traders, if we want to be profitable in these markets is not let the emotions get to the best of us. If we see Bitcoin get a big move to the upside or get a big move to the downside, instead we need to wait and understand that if Bitcoin gets a real breakout and a retest, then we can look for a long at support or if we do see this bearish pattern play out and we do flush out all those over leverage longs, then we can look for a long at support again. What we don't wanna do is FOMO into a position randomly because we saw some kind of YouTube thumbnail or we see a big blue candle and we're like, oh my goodness, I'm going to miss move. That is a one-way ticket to Rex City. So guys, this is my overall scenario on Bitcoin right now. In the macro, still bullish. In the immediate short term, I do believe soon, within the next week or so, we're going to see that 20% pullback which could give us the trade of a lifetime, maybe not a lifetime, or we're gonna see it as break bullishly, which can then give us another opportunity to hop into a long trade. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications. May God bless everybody in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are super blessed, and I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.